health patches. Yeah. So we use more use the GANs tomorrow. This afternoon we'll be making the health coils and pain pens and infinity loops, the metal work stuff. But anyone who isn't here tomorrow and wants some health stuff to make and take away, we can do that tea time or afterwards. Or in parallel. Okay. We're not quite ready for the soup, so I don't know if there's something that you can run with for another 10 minutes. Yeah. Or well, yeah, we're, or just, just we're still on time. Yeah, uh, yeah let's do the seawater again. Yep. Okay. For healing. Yeah, I, I haven't heard it being used for healing actually, the gold. No. No. Um, I don't know why. I don't know. Uh, well, non atomic gold. Yeah, silver GANS is very good for healing because that's a natural antimicrobial. Um, the gold, I think they use it to try and make gold actually. So if you get the plasmatic energy field of gold and you put it in a spinning reactor, two reactors, you get the right strength. Gold manifests underneath. I've heard of that. So yeah, that's pretty fun. That's cold fusion. Yeah. You'd have more field strength of the plate that that's on, actually. The majority, the mass of whatever's behind it would be stronger than the leaf of gold, so it's better to be pure. Um, so we use seawater GANs for mainly agriculture, actually because seawater has all the, the main elements that we need and that plants need. It is the kind of water of life. And so making the nano material, the GANs from seawater, it, it manifests all these minerals and elements out of the seawater into a GAN state. And so the water charged with that GANs is used for plants. We don't use it so much on human health because there can be heavy metals in the seawater. And although the body should be able to filter out the fields of anything it doesn't want, we don't want to risk it. Like if there's mercury or when mercury field strength involved, we don't want to risk it. But plants don't seem to mind. Uh, go for it. So another thing just to notice when you're using your caustic is you're creating a lot of heat. You saw I had cold water here and I just poured a little bit of caustic in to, to strengthen it up a bit. It's now really hot to the touch under here. So do be a bit careful about that. So what you're just going to do is simply pour some of the into the seawater. Careful of the table. Oh, he's going to throw it away. Uh, so it'll not. form a cloud. Is that all you're doing? Well, it's already gone. Wow. So it forms a cloudiness. And you leave it for a day or so, actually. Don't you? Uh, it'll, go in, it'll go in 20 minutes or so. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it already. Wow. Oh, I'll put more in. Well, I don't, I don't need to. Oh. Less is more. I like more, though. <laughs> and when using the GANs, uh, like Yoda says, it's, size matters not really. It should, even a little bit is really powerful. But I'm re I need to reprogram about that, because I still think, oh, I'm sure a little bit more must be better. But a bit like homeopathy, that's not really the case. It doesn't matter. Just a little... Mr. Kesh says one little nanoparticle of the GANs is enough to power a system. So, uh, I'm going to pass this round because you can look at it. It's yeah. literally forming clouds in there. So you can wow. see, if you can see how the gans will now settle out. It often hangs in the middle for a while, like a like a cloud, and then it'll gradually settle out. So if you can see, this is how almost is made as well. Mm. It's a very similar process. Do they use caustic? The oh, penny knows. They, they are distilling out the, the, the nanoparticles. Yes. Yeah. 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 So in the in the jar was seawater from whales. Yeah. Yeah. And then we poured the caustic so it's caustic solution into it. Yeah. It's quite quick, isn't it? No plates needed for seawater. It's just the elements of falling out of the seawater with the caustic is kind of binding them and expanding them. And the, sea, the salt is already there in the seawater, so that's popping them open. 
into the, so that plasmatic fields are available. Yeah. So the amount of consulting that you've offered something in the Yeah, absolutely. I, I haven't done that. But yes, if you get your seawater and then put caustic into that, the elements from the salt you use should come out. Do you reckon 10%? Because that would still be in suspension even from wells. I mean, they don't even have a certain percent of minerals. So I mean, I wonder what strength that was. Does it tell you when you buy it? The. From the sea, yeah, the sea is about three percent salt. So when we're making the salt solution, I think five percent is is usually fine. We don't need ten. What happens if you use the Quinton water? If we use what water? Quinton, Oh, Quinton. Yes, we definitely want to get some QMP, Quinton Marine Plasma, because that it Quinton, Dr. Rene Quinton, Marine Plasma, QMP. Yeah. So would it be worth it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because you buy it once. It's 20 quid, I think, for a box. It's a bit more. A bit more now. Because you only get your amples. Yeah, you got 10, 20, right? 10, 12 amples. Buy it once, make the gallons of that, you never need to buy it again. Well, you never, you never need to buy it. No. Oh, that wasn't worth it. Oh, yeah. If you get it overseas, it's cheaper than buying it here. Yeah. You get it for okay. Yeah, yeah, we want to do that. It's a good reminder. Yeah. Q U I N T O N. Yeah. And was that marine plasma? Yeah, marine plasma. It's, it's already it's a beautiful material yeah. taken right down from the bottom of the sea, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of nearly plasmatic anyway. Yeah. Uh, penny. A friend of yours. Eleven, twelve. Yeah. Yeah, we can show you. I've got the meter here. So. If you're p popping a little bottle into a watering can or into your water jug. Um, there's no particular rule on it. Um, 20 minutes or an hour should be fine. It may well be instant. In fact, Michael might know better because he can see and feel it. Michael, have you got a sense of how quickly you charge your water by putting the gowns next to it? Yeah. He says 12. One. But if you're pouring it in, if you pour the actual physical water in, that would restructure very fast, yeah? Within tent, you can. Yeah. So focus and attention. Yeah, it sounds terribly unscientific, doesn't it? Yeah. What, five or six hours next to the Maghreb? Yeah, normal water next to the Maghreb, even. Yeah. Before Michael had Ganses, he just uses Magrav to charge the waters. Because that's actually got three Ganses in it. So you've got a complete spectrum anyway. But we're not making Magravs this weekend, so I'll confuse everyone. <laughs> and me. Um, okay, uh, was there anyone else with a hand up there? Yes, it was. Yeah. I don't know. 
they've definitely been pouring the GANs. We'll talk about agriculture after lunch. But yeah, do it. Although the water, the charged water will disseminate well. Yeah. They've done it in hydroponics. We'll show you pictures yes. of that. Definitely, because that char the water is then all affected. Lentils. Lettuce. Lettuce, yes. Were you here last time? No, no you've seen it though. Yeah, Lisa McDonald. Yeah, we'll show that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll do a quick agricultural overview after lunch, then we'll get into making coils and all. How often can you use it in the farm? Like, if you put it in and you charge up as a fish? Yeah, how often can you use it? Yeah. So once you've got your... Once you've got your test tube, so the question is, once you've got your test tube of GANs and water, or your little bottle of GANs water, how many times can you use it to charge things with? Uh, forever. It doesn't lose its strength. Yeah. So that's why I buy expensive food supplements once, make the GANs, and you're done forever. But then when you really have to keep your label, you have to make sure Yeah, put the labels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I find the ink does fade on these. I don't know if that's the fields yeah. or just my pens. Can you activate it by boiling it? Like it, by yeah. boiling it? <laughs> oh, oh, destroy it. Apparently that you can um, neutralise the charge of the water by um, distilling it. So you vaporise it, it distills and it's lost its memory. Is that correct? So. Yeah, I believe, we believe so. Yeah. Okay. Ready for a break? Good? Okay, thank you very much. And uh, maybe, is anyone wondering, is this just electrolysis? You could well be wondering it. Because also when we do the power method, it's just, it's the same, it's the same setup as your tub. It's just you connect the two leads into a, a DC power supply. And that just, it speeds the process up a bit. Uh, it's not the Puritan's way of doing it, but if one needs to make stuff quickly, then it's, it's okay. It's just not as powerful. Um, and then the question really is, is that electrolysis uh, in a disguised way? And the other answer is, no, it doesn't seem to be. It's producing stuff that's totally different to what no normal electrolysis would produce. So, uh, that's, yeah. The actual understanding of what the heck is going on is still actually quite elusive. <laughs> but we do see that this special stuff is produced and we see the effects it has. And actually it's really fun where you've made some, or even with these, you, you can see how it's kind of anti-gravity as well. It just holds itself. It doesn't behave like normal heavy matter would. It looks like a gel. Like a what? A gel. A gel. It is, yes. It is like a gel. It's a gelish, but free at the same time. And you can whip it up into dust. And sometimes it makes shapes on its own in reaction to the environment. So the thing is to play. Start making and play. And, uh, yeah, feel it and touch it. Can you dilute it? Yeah, but uh, over time. Is, this, uh, is it like that all the time? Or? Yeah, if you're not taking off the actual gallons, it will stay there. You can use it all the time. Keep going, yeah. Just pour the water, pour new water back in. And... Pour new water on top, shake it up when you've got new water in there, you know, mix it up, <coughs> and uh, then let it settle, and you can use the water on top for drinking, charging. What happens if you freeze it, if you actually froze the GANs? I haven't actually frozen the actual GANs. Freezing the GANs water is nice, because it still creates some quite structured, uh, we did have pictures of that last time, it does have little structured crystals, a bit like Mazuramoto's. Okay. Yeah, try freezing actual gans. Have you tried that? Yeah, no. no. Let's do it. Can you drink the gans? Oh yeah, don't drink the actual gans. <laughs> no. And when you're drinking, so we have two terms. One is gans water. One is plasma water. Gans water is the water that's on the head of the gans in contact. Okay, that's gans water. You can drink that. And that will, by definition, have some nanoparticles in it. But that's fine. Just don't drink that stuff. And plasma water is where you've got that, and you put it next to your water jug and charged it adjacent. So it's 
and that's obviously fine because your water hasn't been in touch with anything. Yeah. Yeah. Use the, the head direct or chart. You put that next to your water and charge. Would it go through that glass? Yes. You just put it in. Yeah, put it in. We'll make test tubes tomorrow. You take, make little test tubes. You take that like in the jug there. You put little test tubes in your water jug or your bedside table, glass, and they charge and they'll just carry on. So that's the advantage, they just stay there. And uh, I think the field is a little less strong. It lasts less time if it's plasma water. But if it's got the GANs in it, it lasts forever. Well, long enough, anyway. Just till it settles. Like, yeah, that's already settled there. It'll take an hour, yeah, then you can draw it off. But if you wanted to charge a bit longer, a few hours, the time flies anyway. One usually forgets until the next day, so. Okay. Um, yes, if you're doing it with the GANs, it's distilled water. If you're using it just to charge something, that's drinking water, tap water, whatever, to charge anything, swimming pools. Baths, lakes, etc. Yeah. 